Okay, everyone. So let's continue our discussion. So in previously, we have identified the key component, and then today we're gonna talk about the shortcut method to calculate the equilibrium stages in multi-component distillation. The shortcut method is called shortcut method because it's, it is not accurate, but it's pretty good to determine or to estimate the number of equilibrium stages in distillation. Um, so uh, this is called the shortcut method is called uh, we will learn about Fenster method, Underwood method, and Gillian method. So I'm Yulandari, so let's start the course. Okay, so um if you remember how to calculate the equilibrium stages using binary compounds using binary system uh, what you need to do the first one you have to um, maybe let me write it over here you have to determine all the parameters that you need like that f uh, which is the component of the feed, you know, unit alpha, 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 you know, F, you have to know your, uh, the component in distillate, uh, the fraction distillate, fraction in the bottom, then you can forget your math balance between the distillate and also the bottom. And of course, the second one, before that, you know, the equilibrium uh, curve, right? So, Using that one, you should know uh, your equilibrium curve. And what else? The third one, uh, you need to get um, after you know your uh, your position. You also know the phase of your um, feed, and after that, you can construct your uh, find the. A reflux, you know, reflux minimum, and then you can find the reflux, and after that you can draw your uh, operating line. You can uh, draw your top operating line, uh, and then after that you can draw your bottom operating line, and after that you can uh, draw the or maybe construct the uh, the stages. Yeah, this is just the uh, typical, I think you have to uh, uh, remember about how to calculate the equivalent stages in the distillation. Now, uh, similar to that, so in shortcut method, we also will predict the theoretical stage in equilibrium in ideal one. Um, another one, after we cut the project method, then in the next videos, we're going to learn about the reverse method. It is uh, to, it more rigorous to calculate the real theoretical stage. And also we can calculate the composition and temperature in the, uh, and temperature in effective phase and liquid phase at every stage. So if you remember using the stage shows, also you can get the composition of the vapor and liquid in every stage. So you should be able to get that as well using reverse method. Okay, so um, this one, uh, this shortcut method is consists of three methods. It's called FUG or Fanske, Underwood, and Gilliman. Fanske is used to calculate the minimum stage of the composition and uh, all the total reflux and the composition correction. Underwood is used to find the minimum reflux ratio or RM and Gilliman um, to calculate the theoretical stage. Then what another one, actually we call Kirkbride to get which one is going to the top stage and also the enriching stage and which one going to the bottom or the stripping stage. But this one is not that accurate. So um, Fenske, Underwood, Gilliland should be really good as a, a good prediction for a shortcut method. Okay, um, let's continue. Okay, so what is Fenske method? A uh, Fenske method is to calculate the NM or the minimum equilibrium stats, um, which is found on the total reflux. 
And this also to calculate the top and bottom product correction that we assume in the beginning when you will be calculated using mass balance. Okay, so, uh, so this is the formula, which is nm equal to log of dlk over dhk uh, multiplied with the bhk over dlk, but where d is actually the distillate uh, of the component, the distillate uh, or the rate of distillate of the light key, and b is the uh, the rate of the bottom, okay? And it's divided by log of the uh, alpha of the LK average with log alpha is equal to the volatility of the components or equal to the Ki divided by K, uh, K. Okay, so um, so this is the, uh, the all the complex, uh, all the formula where I'll, let me write it for you. So alpha, of the component i equal to the k value of the component i defined by k value of component hk. So you, once you know the composition, oh sorry, once you know the flow rate and you know the uh, pressure and temperature, you can get the k, right? So when you get the k, then you can get the uh, alpha. So alpha average, Alpha LK fresh equal to uh, alpha LK distillate multiplied with uh, alpha LK bond product uh, and then square roots. Uh, this is the definition of LK distillate and this is the definition of LK uh, of the bottom product. Okay, and this one is actually can be used to get the correction for the bottom product correction because you can actually change this as uh, of a component I. So if I change the, uh, let's say the uh, HK, I change it into the uh, component I uh, like this. So D L K over the I multiplied with B I over L K, sorry, B L K. Uh, def defined by log uh, alpha LK uh, average, uh, then you can find the ratio of the BI over DI. So you can get your um, your ratio between your uh, component in the distillate. Uh, sorry, uh, I think I, I wrongly write it. So it should be like that, yeah? Or let me write it here, BI over DI. Okay, so there you go. So with the Fenske method, you can get the NM or the minimum number of equilibrium stages. And this, and also uh, the second one, you can get the product correction by this one. If you, you know your DI, if you know your feed FI, and then you know your BI and DI, then you can, um, exactly you know the, the product collection, which one going to the bottom and which one going to the top. Right, so the second, once you have the, got the uh, NM from the fancy method, the next one is to calculate the refluctuation minimum or RM with the two equation. The first one is called the Underwood method, Underwood one, using a feed data. And then we calculate the outside, uh, which is called the Underwood constant. And the second one is Underwood two, where we use the feed data and phi to calculate the phi infinity and RM. So this is the uh, equation for Underwood 1, uh, which is a VF, uh, is a sigma from I equal to 1 to C, which is uh, in the square uh, bracket uh, alpha I multiplied the feed I divided by alpha I minus C. So here, if you have five compounds and you have six compounds, you have a number of uh, equation that includes uh, C, and then you can solve your C find it using sulfur. Yeah, you can it's in sulfur. And then uh, where the VF is called the vapor molar ray. So if the VF equal to zero, then it's saturated liquid. If the VF equal to F, that would be a saturated vapor. So it is an iterative solving. So that would be, uh, of course, the B value 
a uh, lot of value of upside this one so the current the correct value should lie between one to the alpha lk let's say you have number value of psi then your your true uh, correct value would be right between this one once you cut the psi and then what you need to do put it into the next calculation which is phi uh, infinity equal to sum of one to i to one to c uh, and in bracket uh, which is i alpha i uh, dif uh, multiply with d i divided by alpha i minus psi so let's do that just include uh, over here and then you get the phi infinity so the uh, rm or the minimum uh, reflector ratio is called a phi uh, infinity divided by d minus one. Okay, so once you get your nm and once you get your rm, what you need to do, you can calculate your uh, the vertical here, which is n minus n m divided by n plus one, and also a horizontal one, which is uh, r minus r m divided by r plus one. Okay, so uh, and after that, so we can you can calculate the vertical stage. Of course, you have to find your r. I uh, define your r. Let's say one point two five of r m so on. Uh, use n m from Fenske and then r m from uh, Underwood and then use your defined r. So then, then you can get the equilibrium uh, stages of your multi component stuff. All right, um, so uh, this is the last one is the curved bride equation. This tells you which one uh, going to the top uh, sides and also to the bottom, which one going to the enriching and to the stripping. Uh, and then this is a, a kind of um, correlated empirical value. Uh, you need to find your D and B, the distillate rate, the bottom rate, the uh, feed in the heavy key, feed in the lower key, and so on. You need to calculate the top stage and the bottom stage. All right, I think uh, using after you learn this uh, video, you can understand how to calculate the um, theoretical stages of distillation of multiple component uh, compounds. Uh, using Fenske to, uh, to determine the minimum uh, theoretical stage, NM, and then Underwood to determine the minimum reflect ratio, RM, and uh, Gilliland to determine the number of stages, N, and also Kirkbride to determine which one goes to the uh, enriching and which one goes to the stripping. I think that's all for this session and then I'll see you again in the next session.